Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Trans West Truck Trailer RV here in Frederick, Colorado. My name is Taylor, and we're going to be going over one of our used 2020 Dutch Stars. It's a 4363 floor plan, and it only has just over 12,000 miles, so it's not even broken in yet. And uh, speaking of miles, we I want to touch base on the warranties. Besides the house, we have it pretty much fully covered with our basic chassis and drivetrain. It's for three years, 500 miles. Our engine is still under warranty for five years, 100 miles. And then our transmission is the same five years, 200 miles. And then we do still have the frame rails that are under warranty as well. So that's really good. We'll go over here, close that door for you really quick. So we do have the side cameras for your blinker. So you have the blind spots, beautiful doorbell and a passcode. Right here just shows the floor plan as long as how long it is as well. And we're going to slide over into the tires. They are the, the Michelin tires, 365, and they are 2020s. So fairly new tires, and it is aluminum. Here is our first fill. You have a dual fill on both sides. It's going to be 150 gallons of diesel. And then sliding over to our first bay, we do have a Dometic fridge slash freezer. So you can configure it to whatever temperature you'd like. Most of you guys are probably very familiar with the Dometic freezers. Right now it's unlocked, but you have three storage areas. And then another slot right here with a little light. So even when it's at night, you can kind of see what, what you got going on in here. <clears throat> Lock it back up. Alrighty. And in our second bay, we just have a little bit of storage. It doesn't have that little long board that pulls out, but we are getting to that. And the next one over. Here we go. So it is manual, which is nice. You don't have to worry about anything breaking or any fuse popping while you're using it. They're a little bit more reliable than the electric is. And it has carpet on the inside that's easy to vacuum. All right, locks in place so you know it's secure. Moving on to our next one. You have another one, it's just the same. But this one you can actually get it on the other side as well, on the driver's side, it goes both ways. This one is just for your passenger side. And these are just extra tools and rods for you. Right up here in the corner, we do have a central vac. So we call it the road vac. You can use it to either vacuum your bays or inside your coach. Alrighty, this is the outside entertainment center. Football is here, so you'll definitely be using that. Pull out some lawn chairs, and you got the Bose stereo system. And then you also have somewhere to charge your phone as well while you're outside. Alrighty, it is a tag axle, and it has the V-Ride, which increases towing capacity, and it has superior roll stability and handling. So you have greater stability and longevity. And then this is the def tank right here. You can fill it on this side or the other side, and it's gonna be 15 gallons. And then right here we have our chassis batteries. And then you also have your battery disconnect right here. Which is nice for storing it over for long periods of time. You wanna make sure everything is shut off. Now we'll go back here. So this is a diesel pusher on a custom Freightliner chassis. And we do have two backup cameras, which makes it kind of nice. So you can see depth and width all at the same time. It is a 450 horsepower 
with a Cummins L9 and then you have just over 1,200 pounds of torque and you have a 15,000 pound towing hitch right here and then you have the connector for your towing as well. Moving on to the passenger side, here is that other death fill right here. And then above you can see your bathroom escape door. This coach also does have road watch, which is an automatic traction control. It has adaptive cruise control and also a collision mitigation. And then this is our water bay. You have the outside shower right here for hot and colds. It is a plastic shower head, but you can turn it on and off right here just to save water. And then this is where you would store your filter and then you also have the outside hose as well. And then this is a rack for paper towels, just in case you make a mess. All right, so this one is a power reel. Your buttons are right here, which is kind of nice. So the older models, they had it inside, so you kind of had to bend over and reach in while you're using it. But this one, you could just stand up straight. There's no strain on your back, which is great. And then if you're in extreme heat or cold, then you don't have to worry about sitting out there reeling it in yourself kind of takes a toll out of you. <laughs> Alrighty, this is our Oasis hydronic heating. So you do have the instant hot water with the Oasis. And then on to, this was the storage area that I was telling you that you can access on either side. And then it comes out the same length on each side as well. Here is another storage area. And then right here, here are all of the house batteries. You have a total of eight. That's a little too heavy for me to pull out, but it does pull out so you could self-service your batteries and clean them up. You don't have to take them in. So they're very accessible, which is nice. Alrighty, and then this is the other fill for that 150 gallon diesel. And here are all just the breakers and fuses and whatnot. So if you pop a breaker or anything like that, or one of the lights isn't working, you'll definitely want to come in here to see if you could change it out yourself. And then you also have this pull lever right here and it'll pop it out so you could see your, um, your own on generator. All right. We'll close that later. <laughs> Alrighty. So we'll just get a nice face shot of the Dutch Star. It is a burgundy and gray. And then we do have a camera up here as well. And then the, the Dutch Star is one of the most popular models of the Newmar line. And then I'll just go ahead and I'll let you guys pop in just so you guys can see what the slides look like all closed up. There is a lot of room and then I'll open them up for you as well. <clears throat> I'll go ahead and walk down so you got a little bit better of an idea, but I'm not really, I'm not having to side shuffle or anything like that. 
I have beautiful space. I do get a couple customers coming in here worried about their dogs, making sure that they have a lot of walking area as well. So they'll definitely be able to come around and then they could turn around right here, or even go under the table. Um, so there's a lot of space for dogs too. And now I'll go ahead and open these slides up for you. Starting with the driver's side full wall slide. Perfect, and now the passenger side. Perfect. Now that it's completely open, you can tell you have a lot of living area in here You're with your two recliners. And then you pull this out and you have some cup holders as well. So if you're kind of on the move and you have some passengers, they can stick their cups in here. And you don't have to worry about it sliding around. And then you do have a big drawer right here. I like to call this the magazine drawer because <laughs> it's very deep and it'll fit magazines perfectly in here. And then you do have some buttons over here. So this is for your seat on each side so you can kind of lift up your legs. And then this is for your televator, which is on the other side. It'll kind of pull up and you'll have nice flat screen TV. And then, whoops, we also have your lights right here on this side. So if you're sitting down, you can change, you can turn them on right here for the kitchen or kind of turn them all off. And then you have your water pump too, and then you have a, your fan buttons right here for high, medium, and low. Oops, I just wanted to turn them back on here. All right, and then we do have <coughs> the other living area lights right here for your dinette, your ceiling, and your wall, and then your also your accent lights. This does turn into a full bed. I'll kind of show you briefly. I won't open it up completely, because it's this one's very simple. You just pull the handle right here, and it comes out completely, so it's easier to accept it to put out and to put back in, sorry. <clears throat> it's not one of those hard ones to configure. It's just like one of the, just like a couch at home that configures into a bed. All right, we'll start on this side with the storage. We just have some books in here and then some extra parts at the moment. That's beautiful wood kind of a lighter than mocha. It's one of my favorite woods actually. And we got some, this is kind of where you would put your stereos or your dish prep. So you already have all the prep and the wire work ready for you. And then I'll slide over to here. You have three, they're all the same. They're not very deep though. I'd probably say just about half or about six inches deep. And then you got two more as well. And they do cut through, they're not. So you could put things long ways. This table does come out. So you can add two chairs to kind of create a little bit larger dining area. And then underneath your bed, it has the tile where it'll put right over here. Just slide it back in. Here are all the goods to learn about everything. <laughs> and then we'll slide over to our kitchen area. You do have a pretty big sink. It is split into two, but it's stainless on the inside. And then you have your little thing so you can clean it and it'll change from spray just to one stream. Alright, 
And then over to our true induction, you have a two burner and then when you flip it over, you actually have a cutting board on the other side, which is handy, kind of minimal on the counter space, but you can get a little creative to make it a little better. So this is an all electric coach. And then you have your microwave convection oven right here. I'll open it up. So it's very big. And then you have your little rack for the convection down here in this drawer. Perfect. <clears throat> and then I'll just show you the storage up here, right above the sink. These ones are a lot deeper and a lot taller, so perfect for cups or plates, or you can probably even get the little racks that kind of help you section things off for a spice rack. And then here we go. We've got a little thing here for, I don't know, you have to get creative with that one. It looks like you would put your toothbrushes and toothpaste in that, but not really in the kitchen. And then you got your little trash can. People love when it's on here on this little roller and it's tucked away where you can't see it. And then this is the storage right underneath the sink. So as you could tell right down below here, you have a little storage area for these little pieces to cover up your sink and your um, induction. So you can just slide them in here when you're full blown cooking in the kitchen to kind of get it out of the way. Then you have three drawers right here. We got all the remotes and everything in here right now but it has a nice little divider so it's not all sliding around getting mixed up while you're going down the road. And then one more with no divider. And they are all the same size, so they're not really misleading. Sliding over to our beautiful dishwasher here. Perfect. Then you have a residential fridge. And you got you have two remotes here for your shades. I like how they did that. A magnet so you can never lose it. And then you do have your water for fresh water and a pretty big fridge. It is a whirlpool. And you have the lock so you don't have to worry about it sliding open in transit. There we go. Perfect. You do have a pantry over here with these lovely drawers that slide out. So it's a lot better than the ones that don't have the drawers because personally, I'm, I have pretty long arms. You can barely, re I can't even touch the back without the drawer. So it makes it a lot easier to organize and keep things nice and tidy. All right, we'll pop into this half bath really quick. I'll just turn on the lights for you guys so you can see a little better. Perfect. And we do have, so this side is just the breakers and everything. So you don't really have much storage over here, but you do have a little bit of storage right here and then you have some um, 12 volts charging outlets. And then down below is kind of the most storage area that you have. And then up here for your toothpaste and whatnot. But I'll go ahead and get out so you guys can get a better look. Has a nice little backsplash. And your central vac is actually at the very bottom there. But it wasn't too tight. Go ahead and close it up. Close that door. Alrighty, and then I'll go ahead and turn these lights on. We don't have this slide out yet. I just wanted to show you guys what it looked like, whoops, with the bed in, how you can still maneuver around it if you'd like. And you do have floor heat, but this is with this slide out, so you'd have to crawl over the bed if you had it all closed up and you were going down the road. But just watch how much more space you get once we pull this slide out. That third slide does work a lot of magic to give you a lot of room in the bedroom so you're not feeling so cramped. Perfect.
Alrighty, pretty good size master. And then I'll just show you the door, which is pretty because it has that glass background, but you still can't see and it's on two of them. I'll just take one out really quick just so you can see. Very classy look with the glass, so I do like that. But yeah, pretty good with a nice full mirror. We always need a mirror. And then you have the his and hers little closet area in here to hang your clothes that are nice and ironed and you don't want to get wrinkly. And then you have your floor heat settings right here along with all the controls for your lights. And then here is kind of where you would put um, your box for your TV. And then you can kind of have a little bit of storage right there on top if you don't use it all. And then you have one drawer. <coughs> Another one that's the same exact size, so it's going to be the same all the way across. And then this one isn't misleading either, so it's actually a little deeper than the other ones. And then this one is actually a full drawer, unlike that one where you put all your TV stuff. And then you have the hers closet, the same exact side, so there's no fighting over who gets the bigger one. They are the same. <laughs> <coughs> Nice little coat rack or a towel rack, hook I guess I should say. And then over on the side, I know a lot of people are always worried you do have two USBs here to charge your phone and you do have a little cubby area where you can put some water or tissues or whatever you need bedside. And then we got some pretty good storage here. Put this one down so you can kind of see. But they are identical across. And we do have some charging up there as well, back there in the corner, right in the middle. But the bed is still pretty much brand new. It has the, the cover on it for it being a 2020. They kept that on the whole time. So it's fresh once you break it open. Alrighty, here is another door to kind of close things off. And it has a mirror on the side in the bathroom, which is nice. So you have another mirror. Check things out. Turn on the lights in here. And then this one is your washer and dryer. It is a stackable, splendid. Beautiful, brand new. They still have the stickers on them. And then you got the dual sinks with some more storage right here. Way bigger than a medicine cabinet, so I'd say you have a little bit more storage in this bathroom than a normal standard house bathroom. And you have the outlets on both sides too right here. And then you have your own towel holder on either side too. And then you have four drawers that go all the way down along with plenty of storage underneath the sink as well. Perfect. And now I'll go into another closet. Tremendous closet space for a 43. We haven't even got to a 45. You have two more feet and you could still use a lot more storage. It's crazy. And it does have extra blankets that it came with, and then the safe is on this side. And these shelves are interchangeable. All right, a little light, and then you have your porcelain toilet, and then this was the escape door that I was telling you about. Your nice little toilet paper holder, and then your bath heat, and then your aqua mister. And then this, you just pull this, a nice little ladder would come down for you to escape if need be. In the shower you have the seat right there that you can plop down so you could sit down, shave your legs, do whatever you need to do and then you also have the little grab handle right here and you have the extra, I'll open it up. 
and then this is nice. So not only do you have this one, you have this one too to kind of rinse everything off really quick or if you need to come in to rinse your feet off or your kiddos feet or hands. So I know toddlers get very messy. That's kind of, this would actually be really handy if I had one in my own house. <laughs> uh, oh, as the mind wanders with all the ideas how to make life easier. And then you have a little lock too so your door won't be flying open in transit. But yeah, now that was the tour. We'll go on to the front and I'll show you guys the dash. And we'll start her up. It is a little cooler here today. So it does say I have a tire warning, but when I drove it over here, it did just turn off. All right. But this is kind of where you would put it into drive, neutral, or reverse down here at this little toggle. Um, you have your leveling system right here. So right now we're still in that travel mode. I didn't put them down. Here is to move your mirrors. And then you have your tug, tug, your tag dump right here. And then your ATC override. And then this is a powered window. Which is beautiful. It's actually really big too. Feels great outside today. Morning crisp air. All right, and two cup holders. You have your USB right here, which also has a cover. And then your parking brake, house battery boost. This is for your lights. And then you do have a beautiful charging system right here for your phone. Here's your little ACs that you can configure however you'd like. And then a beautiful big dash screen. So this is kind of what I was telling you, you do have that TPMS system where it'll tell you your tire pressures, which is great. Um, but for today being a little bit colder of a morning and it just sitting here, it's saying that I have a tire warning, but the moment I start up the chassis and I get driving, it goes back and it goes up a couple more points to that 110 range where it should be. This is for our backup camera right here. So you can kind of configure it how you'd like. And then moving down, we have our little visors and our shade. Dock lights for our fan. You can make it high, medium, or low. Your gen start, which is very important. Your entry lock, which is kind of funny because if you put this entry lock on while you're in here, but you still use your keys to go open it, it'll still alarm. So it's a very good safety mechanism, but use it wisely. You have your air horn, courtesy lights, and another visor, and then we also have a 360 camera on here. And then your ACs are all right here to hot or cold. And this also does have heated captain's chairs. Mine is on right now and that just reminded me that it, I don't, the configuration is actually right here. But they are all electric. And then the heated seats is definitely something great to have, especially if you live here in Colorado during the winter, they'll definitely save your life. Anyways, but. We have a question, nice, okay. The, the seats? Mm -hmm. are, are you talking the theater seats, Cherish? The theater seats, are they yes. manual or electric? And if so, can you demonstrate this? Okay, yes, alrighty. So these ones are manual and it has a little lever right here that you just prop up and you can lean back too, but I kind of got to pull them forward. So it has a little bar right here, just like a typical lazy boy kind of, you just plop it out. But yeah, very easy and you don't have to worry about the electro electric ones kind of being temperamental with you sometimes. <laughs> but yeah, alrighty, well I appreciate the question. Thank you for popping in. Um, that is coming to an end for our 2020 Dutch Star 4363. If you guys have any questions or are interested in this unit, go ahead and give me a call. My name is Taylor Smith at 970-388-7937. Thank you guys. Have a good day.